Hi, this is Lee from Click. In this video, we will look at some options for creating structured financial style reports in Click. With most BI tools, these reports are very difficult or impossible to achieve. The Click platform, however, is far more flexible and presents many options for this style of reporting. In this video, I'll show you a variety of approaches and discuss the benefits and limitations of each. The first approach I will show involves using the standard Click pivot table object. Most accounting systems allow you to group accounts into P&L and balance sheet categories. For instance, gross sales, discounts and direct labour categories. Each category includes a range of account codes. Direct labour, for instance, includes balances from these account codes. By loading these categories into the Click data model, we can report on them in a structured way. Let's take a look. We'll start by dragging a pivot table object across to our sheet. Then we add in our dimension, which will give us our profit and loss breakdown. Select the measure which will sum up our account values and then we can format each of these items. I'll set the display parameters for the expression and then we'll add in a, another dimension to give us our columns which are the financial periods. We need to ensure that our profit and loss categories are sorted in the correct order. To do this we're going to use another dimension in our data model which gives us a numeric sort order. And there we go, with a couple of clicks we've created our profit and loss report. The only thing remaining is to allow these totals columns here to be a little bit clearer using some colouring. I'll go into the amount column and add a conditional colouring formula which will apply a different colour for each of the total rows. Now we can quite clearly see the totals as distinct from the line values in the profit and loss. The benefits of this approach are that you can easily select a specific P&L category and time period and then view the accounts and balances that make up that number. One of the limitations of this approach however is that you need to build any subtotals into the data model itself. So these totals here have actually been pre-aggregated in the data model. Also you might find that you don't have as much control as you would like in terms of formatting in order to build a highly structured report layout. So let's take a look at a different approach which uses an extension object designed specifically for this sort of reporting. The transpose table extension object allows you to define a unique expression for each row with the dimension chosen defining the columns where we use the fiscal period as our column dimension again. In our master library for this app we have expressions already defined for each P&L category. Each expression uses set analysis syntax to limit the calculation to specific account categories. We can create our report by simply dragging each expression onto the table and then reorganizing them if necessary. Expressions can even be defined for things like ratios. You can format all numbers at the report level, but then set override formats specific for each row. This provides you with precise formatting for rows that contain things like ratios. You can also indent measures to properly reflect the hierarchy that is implicit in the financial categories. The benefit of this extension is that you can create a very specific layout with no need to predefine subtotals in the data model. However, as each row is now a specific calculation, clicking on the row will not make any selections. The final approach I would like to illustrate involves another extension called the P&L Smart Pivot. Like the pivot table approach, this extension uses the account category dimension to determine the rows. Once again we'll sort our dimension based on another column in the data model which gives a numeric order. We then add a measure to create a column of values. Further columns can be created by adding extra calculations to show budget and then variance for example, or instead you can add a second dimension like our period code. I'll just adjust the sort order so that our columns are being sorted not by amount but by the period. As this extension was also developed specifically for structured financial reports it offers many formatting options. If you wish to apply specific formats to specific rows you can use a template like this one. Simply ensure the first column matches your account category codes then add the relevant formatting options for each row. You then reference the template in your report configuration like this. Full instructions for the template file come with the extension. And there we have our completed profit and loss report. 
The benefits of this extension are that you can create highly formatted outputs. Like the pivot table, you can select specific account categories from the report rows. However, also like the pivot table, you must build any subtotal rows into your data model beforehand. Both of the extensions that I've illustrated in this video are available for download for free from ClickBranch, our open source developer community. There are also some commercial solutions available from Click Partners which offer further functionality. As you have seen, Click offers many approaches to cover structured financial reporting. Why not go to click.com and download ClickSense and try it out today? Thank you for watching.